Hi guys, so I have the craziest news ever. It's absolutely such a surprise and I never in a million years thought this would happen now in my life, but it did. I am having a baby. Um, I'm 11 weeks pregnant today, which is kind of scary. But I'm really excited and you know, you just have to go with the flow and life throws you curveballs all the time. And this is definitely a curveball. But I'm really excited and I just want to say that I want to vlog my whole pregnancy. Not only because I want to show you guys this part of my life and this new journey and this new transition into this new chapter. But also because I want to look back on everything and just remember this special time in my life. Even though I've been so sick, it hasn't been that special lately. But I want to kind of catch you guys up on week 1 through 11 because I wanted to start vlogging at week 6, but I was so sick. I knew I was pregnant probably around 2 weeks. I remember taking a test, it was a week before my missed period, and it said negative. But I just knew, I, I for some reason I just like felt that I was. So the day I was supposed to start my period, I took a test and there was a faint line where the other line was supposed to be. And I'm just like, I know, I'm pregnant, I just know it, I knew it. And my best friend was like, no, you're fine, it's probably just some like weird thing, like don't worry about it. And Dylan was like, don't worry, you're fine. I'm just like, guys, like, I'm not fine. So I waited till the next day and I took another pregnancy test and it was super positive. And that's it, it was just crazy. I honestly didn't believe it. So I went to the store and I bought probably five, took them all, they all were positive. I was like, no way. So I bought some more, took them all, positive. I'm gonna show you guys, because I'm not joking. I'm gonna show you, I actually kept them on, was that gross? But, oh well, I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Okay, this is not a joke. I just didn't believe it. Like, I felt like I was, but I just didn't believe that I was. So I had to take all of these just to reassure myself that I was. So yeah, as you can see, they're all positive. And no joke. I need to get rid of those, but anyways. I'm pregnant! So after I took the million tests and they all were positive, I was bawling. I remember calling Dylan and I was like, hyperventilating a little bit. I'm like, my career's over, I don't know what to do. He's like, no, oh, you're fine, just calm down. At that moment, it was it was super hard. I felt like everything was gonna be different, which it is going to be different, but I just didn't know how to handle it because first of all, we're not married, but we will be married. We kind of kept it a secret from my family just a little bit. I just didn't know how to tell them all. So I was graduating in about two weeks from when I found out. So I made sure to invite my whole family to my graduation and I said, please be there. It's, there's something that I really need to tell everyone. It's really important. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, you probably got a movie role or you got another modeling job. <sighs> and I told them it was a big career change and they had no idea that I was pregnant. They thought, my mom thought she's like, you're gonna be a movie star. Oh, you probably got this big role. But no, it was definitely not that. So. At my luncheon, at my sister's house, that's where we had it after my graduation. I just had everybody there and I was really scared. And then my sister was like, all right, what's your news? Uh, and we told them and they were really happy and really excited for us. They love Dylan, they love us together. So just having their support was amazing and it's just helped this whole process but that is kind of my story week 1 through 11 so far I have been so nauseous so sick up until week 10 week 10 I was like a new person like boom randomly I'm like I have energy I can get up I can do things so my mom got me this book it's called from a pea to a pumpkin and I'll just share with you guys a little bit of what I wrote from week 6 to now and this is really cool just because it was like during all the weeks. So week six, um, I, okay, first of all, I love coffee. I love coffee. Before I got pregnant, I would have Starbucks three times a day. I lived off coffee. I just loved caffeine, energy stimulants. It just, it's what kept me going is how I would 
go throughout my days. And then, literally two weeks after I got pregnant, all of a sudden coffee, the thought of it was awful. Like I couldn't even stomach the thought of it. Like if I was around a Starbucks, I would have probably threw up. It was weird, everything that I used to love, I hated it and it made me want to throw up. So that was really interesting. Um, I started craving soup. It was really weird. I just always wanted soup, so I'm assuming that I needed um, sodium or something. And sandwiches. I love sandwiches. And in here it says my partner couldn't be more annoyed that I'm so I was so emotional. It was it was hard coping with the fact of just like such a different change, and I was not expecting it. So I think I was like always like upset, and I was crying to him all the time. So he probably got pretty annoyed, but. That was week six. And week seven, I had a really bad cough, which was awful. So I would go to bed literally like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I had bronchitis or something. It was awful, but luckily it went away and everything kind of got better. And I, I had a really hard time with my energy. I couldn't get up. If I got up, it was to get a snack or go to the bathroom. And then I'd come back to my bed and it's like, that's basically what I did in week seven. And I was always worrying if my baby was okay, if they were getting enough nutrients. I was just making sure that I was always taking my prenatal vitamins and I was always eating healthy. I did not drink any coffee, no caffeine, nothing. Like everything scared me. So I just really wanted to make sure I was being healthy. In week eight, I put that I can't wait for this morning sickness to be over, please. <laughs> the thing that I really m miss most about pre-pregnancy is the feeling good all the time and I miss my abs, definitely. I'm not saying like I had abs or anything, but I had a pretty good like fit body. And I think just your first trimester you get, at least for me, a thick layer of fat. I just got really soft. I feel just bloated. <sighs> but it'll, it'll be worth it. I, I have faith it'll be worth it. I also put on week nine that I was so scared to tell people because of how it looks and because me and Dylan aren't married. I just felt like people were gonna judge us and judge me, especially with like what I do. And that was kind of hard, but I feel like I'm over it now because at the end of the day, I'm so happy. I love him more than anything. He loves me more than anything. This baby is coming into this world with so much love and I just know everything's gonna work out and everything happens for a reason like it's pretty crazy we did for two and a half years before this and never once did this happen I know I should have been in birth control obviously I know, but I wasn't and so now we are gonna have a little baby blessing so it'll all work out week nine I put that I couldn't stop sobbing and crying and weeping literally I'll be driving down the street I'll have like the radio on and I'll start bawling. Just like a sad song like makes me cry so I like can't even listen to music. It was really strange. I'm just like I never cry. Like before I got pregnant, nothing made me cry unless you really hurt my feelings. But now everything makes me cry because I'm just, I don't know, just emotional. And then I put my nausea up and down in week nine, thank God. But my sister gave me some medicine that she took while she was pregnant and it definitely helped me a ton. And I put that, I just rest and slept a ton. I laid in my bed a lot. I made sandwiches all day. <laughs> I was really bloated. My belly looks normal, but bloated. Definitely not toned at all. Got a layer of fat over it, but it's okay. Now week 10, this was last week. Today I am 11 weeks exactly. So last week, um, I put that I am feeling so much better. No more nausea, thank God. It's kind of going away, I'm just like, praying that it doesn't come back. And I'm feeling so much better. Sleep and good food help me a ton. Some of my cravings so far haven't really been anything other than like sandwiches and chocolate peanut butter M&Ms and Diet Dr. Pepper. I try not to drink too much of diet soda because I know the aspartame is really bad for your babies and for everybody. So I try to like slow down on that but I can't help it because I need a little caffeine and my doctor said it was okay, so. Oh, by the way, I went and got an ultrasound. Week nine, nine. I was nine weeks and three days when I went and got this. It was the coolest thing ever to see my baby's heartbeat on the monitor. It was the best moment ever. I was like, okay, now it feels real. I remember 
the doctor telling me exactly what day I conceived, which it's pretty interesting. I'll show you guys a little clip. Hey, tell him. What day was it? It was Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Damn it. Anyways, seeing my baby on the monitor. With its heartbeat and it just looked like a little gummy bear it kept moving I just loved it it definitely made things feel more real and it made me excited because being so sick and having so much nausea and not being able to have like energy when I'm so used to doing a million things a day and getting so many things done it was really hard I'm like I'm not excited like I want to be excited but it's hard because I'm so sick all the time so that definitely made it all worth it I don't know today I was feeling pretty crafty I made this this morning out of an old notebook. I will make a new video because I documented the whole thing while I was making it because I get pretty bored, you know what I'm saying? I just made this because I want to write down things that happened during my pregnancy. Put like cute little pictures in here for the baby. I don't know, I think it would just be great for the baby to have this when they grow up. And I think it's just something really special and I would have loved to have one, so. Anyways, that's my ultrasound, the first ultrasound at nine weeks, three days. Put that in there. And then it's just a little notebook. So yeah, I love it. But that's it for now. I hope that I can just help someone else that's, you know, going through a pregnancy maybe the same weeks as me and we can all do this together. I'm really looking forward to finding out the gender. I hope it's a girl. I feel like it's a girl, but Dylan really wants a boy and it I just, I don't know, it's hard because one day I feel like it's a boy, the next day I feel like it's a girl. But we'll be able to find out in about four weeks. I think the middle of August or towards the beginning, which is coming up quick because it's July 11th today. So I'm really excited. And this journey is going to be crazy, so I hope you guys want to be a part of my journey. And we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or any comments, leave them below for me. And I'll see you next time.